I'm Rebecca Massey-Lane, Director of the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts, located in City Park in historic Hagerstown, Maryland. The Fine Arts Museum was established in 1930 by the gift of Anna and William Singer, given to the people of this region to serve as their professional fine arts museum for years to come. We're almost entering our 80th year of service to this community, and we collect art, we exhibit art, we interpret art, and we share it with the people of this region and have done for now nearly 80 years. The Hagerstown Garden Club is proud to work with the Washington County Museum of Fine Arts in Hagerstown, Maryland to sponsor this year's Art in Bloom on April 15th, 16th, and 17th. We have 24 artists who will um, interpret museum works of art this weekend. This evening is the preview party, which is a ticketed event and will be $35 at the door this evening. Tomorrow, the museum will be open free to the public from 9 to 4. There will be a children's workshop and Sunday, the museum also open free and to the public from one to four, will have a musical event. I hope that you will be able to join us this weekend along with hundreds of other people from the tri-state area. It'll be a pleasure to welcome you here. Good afternoon, I'm Emma Chan. I'm pleased to be here at the museum participating in the 10th um, Art in Bloom. I am a member of the Hagerstown Garden Club, the oldest federated garden club in Maryland. And this has become, it started uh, out as a small event and through the years it's become one of the big events in Washington County. And as you walk around this gorgeous museum that we're proud to have in our county, you'll see all the talent um, that we have here. and. Um, how people have interpreted the different works of art that uh, have been chosen and we hope that you visit and enjoy all the exhibits. Hi, I'm Laura Zimmerman. I'm also a member of the Hagerstown Garden Club. And this is my third year per, um, being involved in doing an arrangement and it's just a lot of fun. The women from all of the garden clubs in this area come out and interpret a painting with an arrangement. We have a lot of fun using our creativity and I think you'll be pleased if you come out and see the things that um, have been put together here. I'm Wilda Gift and I'm a member of the Fountainhead Country Club Garden Club. We are all amateurs participating in Art and Bloom. This arrangement was done by myself, Jean Cushwall, and Deb Bockroth. It was difficult to do because as, as you can see there aren't any flowers in the Grand Canyon but this was our interpretation of what we thought the arrangement would do to match the painting. Hi, my name is Linda Siglin, and I'm a member of the New Market Garden Club. I, this is my first year to participate in Art and Bloom, and it has been a fabulous experience. I worked with a flower show judge by the name of Kathy Carl, and we created this presentation here to accompany this piece of Japanese-style art called of kimonos and kabuki. We have a palm here that has been Im that imitates the, uh, the fans uh, in the picture and we draw out the blue by using the geraniums here and also using the thistle. The birds of paradise are really very exotic and pick up the oranges in the picture here. And uh, the feathers are an interesting accompaniment because we have both uh, pheasant feathers and peacock feathers. Uh, the filler is, of course, roses, and uh, I think the whole, the overall feel of the of the arrangement is very, very Asian, Japanese, and, and a lot of interest. Hi, I'm Patsy Ransom with the New Market Garden Club. I've been doing art and bloom with my friend Pat Tarpley for about eight years. This year we have this watercolor painting called Tangled Birches, and we try to interpret the theme of a woodland setting with lots of branches and natural materials. 
We made our own container out of birch bark and it has some fungus on it. It's curled just to look like the tree that you would find in the woods. Then we use various branches to kind of give the feeling of a tangled mess in the woods. Lots of leaves for the fall color. So this is our design. I'm Marilyn Potter with the Mount Airy Garden Club and uh, Mary Warmel and I did this uh, portrait here of the Norwegian sailor. Uh, when I looked at it, uh, I instantly thought of Protea, that his face just kind of said that to me. We used the hat as our container, and he has his beard, uh, which was a little scraggly, uh, with his suspenders. And we looked at this and said simplicity was best. <laughs>